this is your time for the Bulls to live with prosperity, right? It's like that old Heavy D song. Now that we found love, what are we going to do right with it? We found love. Okay, now what are we going to do with it? Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com Weekend Update Show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. So there, there's certain updates that pretty much speak for themselves, okay? Um, if you've been watching this broadcast, let's just say even two months, okay? We know certain levels uh, that the Bulls really needed to reclaim. Um, it was pretty much simplistic lines in the sand that either the Bulls or the Bears are going to win that individual battle um, and pick a direction of somebody who's really going to reclaim it and kind of run with it. And we've been talking about several levels now for, you know, two months, okay? The 50-day moving average that kept on getting rejected over and over and over again, that was 321. And then there was this whole macro area, and you can see here how many times we talked about this level, how many times the Bears rejected the Bulls' efforts to go back to the highs and, you know, really held down the NASDAQ technology sector for such a long time. And you see these numbers here, 324, 324, 324, 324, 324, 324. And we knew going into today's session was not only did we need to reclaim 321, we talked about this last night in the video, but we needed to reclaim 324 for potential moving higher and pulling up the whole group. And we got that. And it was, it was a wonderful, uh, wonderful, seamless day by the Bulls. Technology was incredibly aggressive. Uh, we gapped up this morning. Uh, Q's reclaimed 321, 322, just like that pre-market. And the only question was, were we able to reclaim 324 level to kind of give us a glimpse of what's going to happen next week? And we got our answer. Uh, first close above this 324 level. And again, if you believe in technical analysis and I don't care how you trade, it's very, very tough to turn around and say, well, now the bears are back into control, you know, based on one information. Okay. We were selling off for a month and a half, two months. Uh, we took advantage of the downside. Levels were broken. Uh, stocks couldn't rally. It was a big divergence uh, between bull and bear, especially the NASDAQ 100. And now it's over, right? And just one closes over and somebody can make that very, very weak argument. Well, it was the day before the three day. We, uh, it's all nonsense. All nonsense. Uh, we got the close we wanted. Uh, and what's great about what we saw about today's action was, number one, we've seen now for, for a couple of weeks now, semiconductors really firing on all cylinders. So you saw this week uh, applied materials go nuts. Uh, LRCX uh, uh, did very, very well. Uh, names like Clack uh, breaking out. But then there was one name that I was watching, right? One name I've been watching all week and all month and all the last couple of weeks. And I was watching the video. I go, I love the video. This is it. This was one of my, uh, this is one of my better traders. I love the stock. I think it's head and shoulders as far as trading wise uh, above all these uh, semiconductors just because of the liquidity, just because of the liquidity um, and the range me, and the average true range. So this had everything. The question was, was it going to finally reclaim the 50 day moving average? We got our answers. This was definitely my trade of the day today. Um, we got our answer there. First close over the 50 day moving edge. Remember, reflecting the QQQs. Uh, if you look at Netflix, right? If you look at Netflix, first close over the 50 day moving average. Again, there's a, there's a theme starting. Uh, Microsoft, first close off this linear regression line, right? These are good things. Look at Google, right, guys? Look at Google. You know, Google has been strong this whole time. And now it's like a, an inch away from, you know, taking out the, the earnings highs. So we're set up here. The coolest part about potential, what could happen uh, for next week, I would still say 80% of the stocks haven't even got above supply. That's where the momentum comes in. And in, in my humble opinion, the longer now that we build a base, and again, is it possible we have uh, you know, some, some profit taking uh, Monday or Tuesday? Sure, absolutely. 
But the longer the queues build the base above that 324 level, you're going to eventually see names like Apple pop up, right? Again, Apple is kind of a no man's land. I wouldn't turn around and say, I love Apple next week. But if you get a move on Apple based on strength and gets pulled up by other names on the queues, well, why can't it start attacking uh, the top of the range here? Look at, look at Square, right? Square today touch the 50-day moving average back test. But what happens if Square reclaims the 50-day moving average next week, right? You see it, there's a lot of room to the upside. Uh, you look at a name like Roku. Roku had a big three-day run, really, really big run. Uh, it went from the five-day to the 10 days. You can see here orderly, and if you ever watched uh, if you ever watched the workshop, that's the whole point of the PS60 theory. It's stocks going from supply to supply and to supply. So if Roku next week turns around and starts reclaiming this 345 level, it's going to start waking up. Again, not out of the woods, but you can see it. But the one, and everybody's been waiting for this one, that has really, really big potential. And you can see everybody salivating over it. Because again, there is no bigger move. There is no bigger me measure potential than the king of all kings, right? The one who swallows up every industry, spits them out and keeps them moving. Mackenzie, right? Mackenzie Bezos, she's in charge. And all it takes for Mackenzie Bezos to really step on the foot of her ex-husband is get above this 50-day supply and you're going to see a monster, monster potential in Amazon as well. So we're set up for next week, right? We don't need uh, to have this video 30 minutes long. This is it. This is what we've been waiting for. If you've been a bull of the market, this is your time for the bulls to live with prosperity, right? It's like that old heavy D song. Now that we found love, what are we going to do right with it? We found love, okay? Now what are we going to do with it? And that's the point of where the bulls need to continue this momentum. They have to continue to press. And the moral of the story is the longer we build above this 324 level, right? The longer we build above this 324 level, a level that we haven't seen since going all the way back to uh, the end of January, okay? The longer we build above this level, the higher probability we're going to get back to this 335 level, which is the linear regression line. So some updates you know, you need to analyze, you need to think, you have to play worst case scenario. Look, am I oblivious? Anything could happen in this market. And, you know, Monday comes Monday, we're having this conversation, Dow, Dow 700 points because some, some, uh, some puppy in, uh, you know, Kansas got COVID. Who the hell knows, right? Who the hell knows? But if you believe in face value, if you believe in the theory that technical analysis works, well, this is it, right? This is it. Bulls, you got the prosperity. Now let's see if you can learn to live with it. So let's get into uh, let's get into the pivots from uh, today. And you know there was some big moves, folks. Congratulations! There was a lot of really big moves. But more important, we are set up for next week. So let's talk about this. Uh, this is my you know trade of the day. Uh, you know reclaim Nvidia uh, reclaimed that 541 50 day supply. 543 needs to confirm off the pre market highs. And here's Nvidia, right? Here's Nvidia. And it just exploded. It took out this whole channel here that we've been waving for, we've been talking about, and nausea. Uh, stock went all the way up to 555. I think if this confirms this channel here, right, this channel here next week, look at much room you have, guys, right? And again, this is not going to happen in one day, but there's your measured potential. If you're an option player, here's your measured potential if the market continues its next leg up, this 600 level. And I'm assuming we're going to start seeing some deep out of the money uh, call buying coming in for next week and a lot of names. But this one is set to go first close over the 50-day moving average. Uh, definitely looks higher for next week. Uh, Activision, again, not a big move. Uh, 95 rejected twice uh, needs to build. Here was Activision, right? So here is Activision right here. It took out 95, took out 95, pretty much closed at the high 95.70. It looks like it wants uh, 97 for this week. Still looks uh, higher there as well. Uh, GameStop, I still like. Guys, I, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm not, I'm not day drinking. I promise you, it's not going down, right? It's not going down. Somebody came out uh, this afternoon with like two hours left, uh, bought the 200 weeklies, 45 grand out the window. Uh, but hey, you know, people are still watching this thing. It's not going higher. All it needs to do, right, for next week, if it can just start taking out this whole little baby channel, man, maybe this thing starts to stretch back uh, into the 230s. Hey, listen, in this market, uh, anything's possible. So we're still waiting for this thing uh, to clear out. 
Uh, Snow got to 237, did nothing else, literally, literally did not do anything else. Uh, Square 50 day supply, 234.50 needs to build over that 235 level. Again, not a big move yet, right? And that's the whole point of stocks reclaiming supply. Not a big move yet. It went to like 36.50. I still like it. If they could confirm uh, today's channel, I think this thing is going to wake up next week as well with everything else. Uh, Pinterest, I, f I think it was Will in the webinar who gave us the heads up. Fantastic move. Great job. Uh, Will, 76 rejected twice on the daily. Uh, needs to reclaim, right? Here's Pinterest, right? So it took out 76, 76, and went all the way up to almost 79. I think it still kisses that 80 level uh, for next week. That looks good as well. And here's a trade that, again, it, it was only for experienced traders. It did exactly what I thought it was not going to do. I didn't trade any Tesla today just because it just didn't have any room. So it took out that 689, 690 area. Again, traded to like that 692 area, and it got rejected right away. And this is always my point. Just stay away. If, this is, if you're an experienced trader and you want to take that quick cash flow, you can. But again, Tesla had a marvelous three-day run. Uh, it went from that 606 uh, pivot that we had earlier in the week all the way to 692. It had a res day today. They sold it off a little bit at the close. Does it matter? Tesla looks really good. It just needs a little bit of consolidation uh, for the next couple of days. Uh, I didn't see Airbnb. I didn't trade this thing. What, is, uh, what did Airbnb do today? 193 it needed to build. Uh, traded to 194. It didn't do anything. Came right back in. Um, yeah, Amazon. Here's, here's Amazon. 3120 needs to build. Uh, it's not on the sweet spot yet. There's a macro channel that's already included in your email. I already put it on the Twitter feed. That's going to be the area going forward that it's going to complain macro. But I said 3120s needs to build just for cash flow in the 3130s. And look what Amazon did. It took out, right? So it took out the 3120. And in the process, just to give you an idea how strong Amazon was, and this is really a good cue of what it could potentially do for next week, it took out three supply zones and closed at 3160, right? So we are stone throws away of it taking out this whole channel here and really, really starting to stretch. So Amazon looks really good. Congratulations to all you guys. It's still holding it. 40-point move on Amazon. The video is just awesome. Uh, great stuff. I really love the video. Uh, the video is awesome. Amazon take on the way up. Uh, Pinterest, nice spike. Uh, again, just a beautiful, beautiful open. Activision take on the way up. Uh, as well, who you never confirmed. Uh, cost, again, talk about specific numbers, right? Cost out of PR, uh, it traded to 2690, never confirmed that big 27 area. Um, Dropbox, 27 rejected twice, needs to build. Here is Dropbox. You can tell technology is really, really starting to wake up. So here is the 27, right? Here's the 27 on uh, Dropbox. Again, not a huge move, it's a $27 stock. Went up about 40 cents or so, but you could tell what is the measure potential. The previous uh, recent high was 28.33 to challenge uh, next week as well. So that is fine, still on the table uh, for next week. Uh, here comes the 550, 551 supply, went to 555. Uh, just a great job, just an absolute great job today. And, and again, guys, I, I, I want to reiterate this point for all you guys who are joining us uh, next week in the, in the webinar or even on Twitter feed. Please watch the workshops. There's two workshops. There's a PS60, the foundation, right? They're, they're both combined like, you know, about seven, eight hours. Please watch them. Again, I can feed you pivots till you're blue in the face, okay? But if you, if you don't understand the moving parts, it's, it's a complex system. Um, it's, it's not for, you know, beginners literally in the first three weeks of trading. It's, 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 it's advanced, a lot of moving parts. So if you don't understand the moving parts, um, you, you're really, you know, you're really, you know, taking down your ability, um, you know, to understand everything and kind of, and kind of increase your uh, longevity. So, guys, please put in the work this weekend. It was a three-day weekend, uh, so definitely, definitely relax, but definitely put in the work. So that's it, guys. We are all set uh, for next week. Um, now it's all about the bulls. Okay, so guys, happy Easter. Uh, I wish everybody uh, a wonderful, wonderful, relaxing weekend. Stay safe. Love you all. And I'll see you guys on Monday. Take care.